Hey everyone, Wayne here. Today we're doing an unboxing or unbagging of Forgotten Pacific Battles um, from the latest World at War magazine, number 71, April through May 2020. Um, I was particularly interested in this game because it's supposed to have some dedicated solitaire rules. Um, I know it uses the fire and movement system as well, um, which is a fairly simple system. I would put it on the par with um, standard combat series from MMP. So let's go ahead and unbag it, open it up. First impressions, love the fact that it's the big bag. Um, this cannot be overstated enough. If you've ever purchased a magazine or folio game, and it came in that tight little bag when you have to like basically wreck it to get it out of there and or put it back in, really is the worst. This one, it's going to be nice and easy, I bet. Full size, like that. Off to a good start. Oop, right out of there, perfect. All right, so like most magazine games, um, we're getting a magazine here, full magazine, 50, 60, 70 plus pages, 80 pages, yep, by the end of it. Um, you can see the little ad copy for um, Forgotten Pacific Battles here. Very nice. Um, and I know there should be the rules are in here, yep, so the rules, and you can take them out of here. I also have downloaded them. Um, Decision Games is good of putting all the rules for all these games online. So even you know, as of right now, this game just came out, you can go get the a PDF for the rules online. It includes the custom rules for this game, including and the whole, the fire and movement rules themselves, um, which are not very long anyway, so. All right, um, before jumping into that, I just wanna read this, because there's not really another back sheet, I don't believe. Um, Forgotten Pacific Battles, for those who don't know, um, this will be, dun -dun -dun, as you can see, it's actually one map that has the different islands all on one map. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at that when I get the map spread out. But, you control the U.S. amphibious invasion of Micronesia and secure critical air bases. Cover the fleet's advance with the Central Pacific. Fire support, mechanized units, infiltration, and bonsai charges enhances asymmetry between the two sides. The island scenarios of Ngabi, Anawak, Perry, Guam, and Tinian, and Angar can be played separately as a sequential campaign or simultaneously. Designed as a solitaire game, the scenarios are also included instructions for a two-player version. So very cool. Um, again, the full-size map, 22 by 34, 280 counters. Um, if you're playing it solitaire, you can play the U.S. Invasion. Um, the system plays the Japanese defenses. Obviously, if you play each side, you just you know play whichever one or play two people. Each one takes a side. Fire and movement system, one or two players, 500 meters to a mile for scale. Company to regiment size. All right, enough of that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the counters, and then we will take a look at the. Oh, actually, you know what? I did want to take a look at the rules quick, um, just because I wanted to show you guys. There are lots. There are some pictures, which I really appreciate. So if you get to the actual rules themselves, which again you can get them online, or you can just tear them out of the magazine. There they are. Um, from Pacific Battles should be about I believe 15, 16 pages, something like that. Um, the fire and movement system rules here it starts off and it's going to go ahead and you're going to get some pictures you're going to get some pictures of the units here you're going to get to see what they look like the rules have lots i think are laid out well um, all these new decision game rules including in their magazine games are a lot better than they used to be um, they'll say important important things will be in red it'll tell you you know hey make sure you look at this ah and look example zones of control Pictures, ooh, ah, for movement, love it. Love that fact that uh, um, they actually have some pictures in here. Um, it's not filled, filled with examples, let's be real, it is a magazine game here, but everything is laid out very well, and it's not long rule, so I don't think it's gonna be hard to learn. Look, rule page eight, and then boom, we already get to the Ex Forgotten Pacific Battles exclusive rules. Easy look through them. It's just literally a few pages, a few pages of rules. The scenarios and then we are done by what and then the chart has charts by page 16 there's charts so all right go ahead and look at the counters and i'll get the map set up counters usually have it wrapped up in the map for protection no problem there guys okay take a look at them here um let's see is it just the one counter sheet right yep usually it is for all right a good view there we go for you guys you can see the whole thing in one now you can see um it has the island names tinian perry and gabi anatwak guam angar it has them all listed and it shows you exactly which counters are used and some of the battles for instance you look at perry it's going to be a very so it's literally 
one counter row here, one counter row there. Go ahead and zoom in here. You can see the um, fire support markers. So what you'll have is these fire support markers. Let's just go ahead and look at the top left here, looking at Tinian. See how there's the American and then there's the um, Japanese, which we're going to cover a couple things here. Go ahead and look at this side. All you see is that. One of the things you do is when you do it um, solitaire, I know you randomize them because then when you draw two random, you then flip them over and you're going to see, oh, wait, you know, you're getting what are the pluses? Because what's the support? Mortar, artillery, aircraft, tank, and it's going to tell you what that plus is. It's going to help you um, in your combat. At the same time, if you notice on the counters, make it easier on you, um, specifically on the um, on everything. So markers, you can look at some combat units here of the Americans. See it has the actual logo of the units that were involved, and they're listed in the rulebook as well. And same thing, and then if you look at the Japanese, although it doesn't have their exact units, it has, you know, a T for Tinian. So you can see it's a T on all the Japanese units, so if you get them mixed up or whatever, if you don't separate them, you'll have a good... Perry, same thing. Perry, you can see it has the piece, and it also has, for the Americans, it has their guy's logo. Um, so I think that's really cool, really easy to tell apart. Um, now, overall, these, I mean, I'm not going to say the graphics are fantastic. Um, they're very basic. I think they're very serviceable. The numbers look like they'll be decent to read. I mean, I won't have a problem with them. Maybe some people I could see maybe having a little bit of trouble. It looks like the type is a little small, but... Then again, they are half inch counters. That's your half inch counters, you're gonna have trouble with it no matter what reading them from a distance. Fortunately, you should be able to get up on it because none of the maps take over the whole map, right? As for punching them, looks like they're gonna punch out fine. Yep, see, I don't want to mess with them too much, but you can see it starts punching right out. Um, they'll have the little edges, but you can either clip them or leave them as is. All right, so we got some assault boats down here as well because it is amphibious, so remember, so depending on uh, what you're doing. You're going to have salt boats, and then when you flip them over, it's a landing beach, and that's where your guys are going to, your Americans are going to um, be reinforcing onto the island. So, All right, hopefully you guys got a good view of the counters here. Let me zoom in a little bit. So, Sometimes unit designation, a unit number, attack, defense, movement. Very standard, very standard, but everything looks good, centered well, um, looks decent, serviceable. From serviceable to nice, is what I would say. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pause this video while I go ahead and get the map set up. All right, here is the map. Um, went ahead and took the camera off the mount, and then I went and put the map under a plexi. I want you guys to get a view of the whole thing here. So it's a full-size map. Well, there we go. A little better view. Um, so what you're looking at here, um, let's go ahead and start zooming in on things. We have everything from, so it's from Pacific Battles. You can see the turn track over here. And then there is a um, terrain effects over here, just to show you. At the same time, you have each of the maps. For instance, you can see on the left side here, Guam. You're going to get Tinian, in, sort of in the, in the middle, takes up the biggest spot in the middle. And then over here on the right, over here, you're going to see Perry, and Gabi, Anatwak, and Angar. Um, I think it's nice that it has them all on one map. I think it's great, actually. Yes, you know, you kind of maybe have to ignore the other ones, but at the same time, I don't think it's going to be a problem when you're hunched over and you're looking at one place. So let's start zooming in a little bit. Um, you know, you're going to see some of the smaller islands. There's not as much on here. But I think when you start looking at some of the bigger islands, I think you can really kind of appreciate the art. It is simple. Um, this is Joe Eust. So he does very... Um, easy to read art. I like his art. I do like it. Pretty much every game I've seen of his, I have enjoyed, enjoyed the artwork on. Um, but it's not it's not complicated. It's not crazy. You're not going to get bright colors. You're going to get more earthy tones, lighter greens, browns, things like that. But I think it's very readable from a distance. I think, let's see, back up a little bit. Besides the glare, apologize for that. Besides the glare on it. But then if you go ahead and zoom on in, you start seeing things. You know, you can see where it's going to be the jungle. You can see where it's um, marsh, you can see mountain, everything like that. Very well, very clear. The roads, everything like that. Hopefully you guys can see that. So I think it works very well. All right, guys. Well, that is Forgotten Pacific Battles. 
Um, I think it looks really good, um, especially for, I honestly, a magazine game looks really nice. Lots of, it has a bunch of different battles you can be able to play. I'm interested in checking out the solitaire system. I'm a little familiar with fire and, and movement system, but this is my first time diving into anything solitaire with it, um, at least dedicated solitaire. So I will definitely be doing some videos on this game. And uh, if you want to check those out, please uh, keep an eye on my channel. All right. Thanks, guys. Later.